Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm here back inside Roblox Studio, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own code GUI. So let's get into the video. So first thing you need to do is click Serve Script Service, click Plus, and then add in a script. Click the script, go to Properties, and then change the name to Leader Stats, like that. Once you've done that, go inside your script. Remove print hello world and type in game dot players dot player added colon connect two brackets function two more brackets and then player go down then type in local leader stats equals to instance dot new two brackets speech marks and then folder in between speech marks and brackets, we can do comma and then player. What this does, it makes a new folder and puts it inside the player. So then, if you go down, type in leader stats dot name equals to speech marks and then leader stats. There we go. Go down twice. So if we do local cache equals to instance dot new two brackets speech marks and then number value once again comma this time we're going to be doing leader stats like that so what this does it creates a new number value and puts it inside the leader stats if you go down and type in cache dot name equals to speech marks and then the name of your cache this can be anything. I'm just going to be calling mine to cache, like this. Go down and type in cache dot value equals to and then zero. So this number is how much cache you want to play to spawn in with. So for now, mine's going to be zero. And this should be our script done. Close it off. Now what we need to do is make our GUI. So click start GUI, click plus. Add in a screen GUI. Name this to code GUI, like that. Inside of it, add in a frame. And now we can just customize it, like change the size and position. Okay, so here's my frame. Inside of the frame, we click it, click plus. And then I'm just gonna be adding in a text label. Then we can rename this text label to title, like that. Then we can customize it. Okay, so once we have our title, once again, click frame, click plus, and add in a text box. Make sure this is a text box, and not a text button or text label. And what this is, is going to be how we type in our codes. So if we just customise this, and change the position. Okay, so if we go down to text, make sure text scaled is on, and then change text to blank, like this. And then change placeholder text to enter code like that. Let me just change color like that. So now you can see it says enter code. Once clicking the box, then we can start typing like this. And once we have our text box, all we need to do now click frame, click plus, add in a text button. This is going to be how we actually enter the code. So once we've written in this box and click enter, then it will give us our reward. Once again, we can customize it. Once we have our GUI, we can just rename these. So if we click the button and change the name of it to enter button, then click text box and change the name to input box like that the next thing we need to do is go inside replicate storage click plus add in a remote event and name this to code event once we've done that if we click frame click plus and add in a local script we've just named this script to code client Inside the script, we can type in local 
codes equals to pointy bracket speech mark and then our first code my first code is going to be cash outside of speech marks and between the brackets we do a comma speech marks and then another code you can have as many codes as you want so the next one can just be code once again comma speech marks and then subscribe or something and once you finish with your codes on the last one just make sure you don't have a comma so if you go down and type in local remote event equals to game dot replicate storage dot code event go down twice and type in script dot parent dot enter button dot mouse button one click colon connect two brackets function two more brackets and then go down then if you type in if script dot parent dot input box dot text equals equals to and then codes square bracket and then one and then then go down a new end should appear and we can type in remote event colon fire server two brackets and then this is how much reward we get so for our first code let's do 100 this means we're going to get 100 cash for redeeming that code and basically to know which code is which the number in the order of these codes is which code it is for example because this is number one that means once we type in the code cash they will get 100 cash back inside the brackets we do comma codes square bracket and then one like that go down type in else go down and then do the same thing so if script dot parent dot input box dot text equals equals to codes square bracket and this time two once again then we do the same thing so we just copy paste this copy paste and this time we can change the reward and change this to two then once again else do the same so if script.parent dot input box dot text equals equals to codes square bracket three then remote event file server 300 comma codes square bracket and then three once again if you have more than three codes or as many codes as you have then just keep carrying on but change the reward and the code number and this is it for the first script close it off click serve script service click plus add in a script and change the name of this to code server like that inside the script remove print hello world and all we need to do now is type in local remote event equals game dot replicate storage dot code event go down and then remote event dot on server event colon connect two brackets function two more brackets and then player comma reward comma code go down and it should appear a bracket and we can type in if player colon find first child two brackets code outside our brackets do equals equals to nil then go down so basically what we're going to be doing is checking if the player has already redeemed code we can type in local redeemed equals to instance dot new two brackets speech marks and then bool value comma player go down what this does it creates a new bool value inside of player and what bool value is it means it can either be true or false and then redeemed dot name equals to code 
and then redeemed dot value equals to false then go down and type in if redeemed dot value equals equals to false then go down and type in player dot leader stats dot cash dot value plus equals to reward go down and now type in redeemed dot value equals to true and that should be it done we've closed off click play so what's loaded in you can see we have zero cash once you type in a code so like cash click enter big C we have 100 cash and you can also see we can't redeem it more than once you can see I'm clicking and we only have 100 cash once again type in another code click enter we get 200 plus cash and once again we can't enter it more than once for the last code it's subscribe enter then we get 300 more cash and that's it for this video so guys if this video helped make sure to leave like comment and subscribe down below in the description you can check out my robots group and discord server and i'll see you later bye